What's going on, my friends? How'd you like that creepy-ass intro? Yeah, Halloween's coming. So, just over a month away from Halloween. It takes a while to do camp building, so I wanted to get this out here, and that way everybody has time to enjoy it. I'm going to show you how to use your blueprints and actually make a building kit that'll allow you to build in swampy areas, wetlands, things like that. Kind of like the retreat location in-game. Um... I've always wanted to do a set like that and you know when I first started building the game just like everybody else I didn't know anything about the building system I didn't know that you had to rub your belly pat your head and then jerk someone off at the same time just to be able to set something down on a floor um, but now that I've learned all those tricks and I have nice supple hands from all the lotion uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it so I'm gonna set everything up and then we're going to go over this but what this is going to do is give us the ability to get up off of the ground build in the air without having any kind of foundation pieces that are connecting us to the earth so we're going to set up multiple different sizes now these catwalk sections they've got a small a medium a large and then you have these little corner pieces and you can see me fidgeting around with the corner pieces. They didn't want to snap very well. The important thing is, is that we just get them snapped on there somehow, some way. That way we can blueprint it. But I'm just going to show you how I set everything up here. But the idea, um, I wanted to do something that was really creepy this year. And we're also going to be doing a camp contest. So it's important for you to go down to the description below. There's a permalink to my Discord. It is free to join. There's a ton of resources in there, and we're a bunch of camp building nerds. So we've got an, a lot of knowledge in the group. If you come across a problem, most likely we're going to be able to answer it and you know show you uh, potentially even, an even easier way to do it. You, you know, I don't know. We're we're always learning from each other all the time. And that's kind of what this is about, you know. I wanted to create a community that was helpful. And if you do get stuck or something like that, one of us is more than likely very happy to come over to your camp, go into a private team, and, and help you work through the situation, whatever you're going through, you know. So now that we've got all of our mats laid out, I'm going to show you how to do these blueprints. This bridge is a really neat one. You select the mat first. This is the only thing that you're going to have highlighted. Once that's highlighted, go ahead and make your blueprint. Same thing with all these little pieces. We want to highlight the map first and then the items. I'm showing you the exact order on how I made these. Okay, And I'm going to do it for this one and the next one and so on. It's very simple. Keep it in that order if you want it to work this way. Now, I am on PC. I cannot say that this is going to work on console. This game doesn't even work consistently when two people are on PC. I've tried to make blueprints my friends have made, and it didn't work. I have no idea what the hell caused it. It's, you know, it's Bethesda. I don't, I don't know. I don't work there. I can't fix this problem. Sorry. I wish I did. I would definitely be working on it. So when you go to highlight the columns here, this is important. I did put that stash box there to raise the mat up. And the, the point of that was that if I set this down, I wanted the poles to go underground. That way, if I'm on a steep hill or something, I don't have a pole just hanging out there in outer space looking like crap. Um, it, it just breaks the lore. You know, if you're one of them people that's doing that, stop. Just stop your camp building will look a thousand percent better if you don't have floating foundations or crap floating in the air if you have crap floating in the air just don't don't have crap floating in the air jesus okay unless it's a ufo it ain't supposed to be floating in the air stop it but the great thing is is that once you have that blueprint for the column you can attach these catwalks right onto it it just snap right on Excuse me, I had to mute myself because I coughed and I didn't want to do it in your ear. 
So you can delete the different sections to make that whatever height that you want. I would recommend having that blueprint with the column, have it as a single column set up as two high and then three high. That way, if there's trees or anything that are above you, you know, you've got shorter options. That way you're not having collision issues. But long story short, when you do find out whatever height that you decide on, you're going to go ahead and you're going to snap your catwalk to it. Now let's go to the blueprints. This is why we wanted to make these blueprints and the importance of them. So now that we've got a blueprint, we'll grab it get it lined up over here you can see I can line it up straight maybe we don't want to go straight maybe we want to go this way it'll let you do that you can go at whatever angle that you want I don't recommend doing it like this because there's a huge gap there and it looks like dog shit but this is for demonstration purposes my camps aren't gonna look like that obviously um, once you do place this though you can just delete that mat you don't have to have a trail of mats up there on your catwalks. Once you delete that mat, it goes away. Everything else stays. You're fine. The reason that we wanted to do the bridge was right here. Now you have a structure. You've got walls and a roof that you can snap on wherever the heck that you want at whatever angle that you want. Really convenient. All these colors are very similar with the wood grain pattern and the coloring. So they're very lore friendly. They match well together, which is why I'm calling this a set, you know. On the long pieces of that catwalk, you can connect those columns. They will snap. But you can see I'm doing it to the shorter versions. There is no snapping on those, okay? Keep that in mind. You're going to want to have support if you want to add to the realism. So, just to show you, we're going to go ahead and take a long section of this. And we're gonna you know place it somewhere on here now let's go back to our columns our supporting columns and here you go they snap right to it now keep in mind though when you're doing this things on the ground can collide you can see there's a stump on the ground there that is immovable well it won't let me place that column down so just kind of be aware you're observe your surroundings okay that way you can place these in the right places and you know you still have a realistic looking support things of that nature it's very very helpful very very nice this is my wife I like uh, if you go down to the defense walls though a Tiffany one of our group members and beautiful lovely talented young lady okay don't tell her I said that she's got a big enough head she'd figured out that if you take these defense walls they look like they would fit you know in the perimeter of other structures and I tried it on this one it worked out great she figured this out so I figured I'd share because that is cool as hell that was poor placement let's move it again let's set it right down boom insta wall look at that and it adds a variety of texture you know this is fantastic so this is another reason that you want to join the discord because we're always learning from each other she came up with a great idea with that and it worked fine so I'll be using that you can see that as you delete the uh, the mats you know nothing's disappearing it's not physically attached to that as far as it, it being a supporting object once it's placed but yeah these defense walls uh, look at that that's cool I mean, it'd be unlikely that you'd want to box the whole thing in, but you get the point. This is where I'm building my Halloween camp. I did a rough draft there. I don't recommend it because there's a ton of trees that have collision. It's horrible, but it looked cool. The Myers a great place. It's plenty open and everything. So the difficulty level of this is all the way really up to you. I mean, you can make it a challenging place or an easy place. But this is the idea. There's the retreat. Very, very pretty. I, I love this location. So, permalink in the description. Join the Discord. Get your camps in there. Hang out with us. Maybe you'll win something cool.